Hi hotties! Today's video is going to be a little how to romanticize your life kind of thing. I'm basically going to be showing you some tips on how I try to get out of a mental rut. If you've been watching my past couple videos, you know that I've been kind of down lately and I think I really needed to take a step back and enjoy the simple moments in life. But honestly, it's only human to be human. We all go through our ups and downs. And no matter what life throws at us, I think our perspective is really the only thing that we can control. We're in this together. Let's enjoy life to the fullest. It's really easy to compare yourself to YouTubers or like even movie characters and it seems like their life is so nice and amazing and I think a lot that has to do with it is the music. I know this might sound kind of weird but when my mornings feel boring, I like playing lo-fi music or movie soundtracks, kind of just imagining myself in a little vlog or movie and I don't know, it just seems a lot more interesting that way. There's really nothing better than a nice warm shower in the morning. Taking this time for yourself to slow down and reflect on your life and express gratitude is so important for romanticizing and enjoying the little things. For example, I was really grateful for the warm water, even having running water period. Again, this is the time for yourself. Don't try to stress and worry. I'm in my robe era. I think it's so comfy and nice and I don't know, it just makes me feel like that girl. But now I'm going to get started with my day. So I'm just going to do my skincare routine. I'm about to eat my overnight oats, but I wanted to point out the cute little jar that I'm eating it out of and it comes with the spoon. I don't know, little matching sets like this just bring me such joy. It's very simple, but it's just so cute. It looks kind of nasty, but I put apples in it and it's really yummy. I just feel like a cute little girl eating with the cute little spoon. Did my makeup, put on a little outfit because I'm having a friend over, AKA you. <laughs> okay, that was a bad joke, but yeah, I'm spending the day alone again what's new but really i think taking the time to make yourself feel put together it really doesn't have to be anything crazy either i think just putting that effort is good enough if i'm not feeling it that day i'll really go in with my skincare routine feel moisturized and nice i'm just gonna be hanging out with you guys at home so i wanted to be a little bit comfortable literally no effort way to look put together is just wearing a little matching set so i have tons of these i wanted to wear another one actually but it had a weird stain so yeah, I'm wearing this one. Feeling super cute and ready to get on with the day. I've shown you guys my scrapbooks before and I wanted to mention it in this video just because I think the best way to remember the little moments is to have them physically in a little scrapbook. And with that, thank you so much Canon for sponsoring this portion of the video. This is actually so sick. I've been like kind of manifesting this sponsorship for years now and it's happening. So that's cool. <laughs> I feel like in the moment when you're scrapbooking or you're taking pictures in general, it feels just very normal and just like, oh, like it just happened last week. But that last week has turned into four years ago and I still have all of these memories and it really takes me back into those moments. You can really tailor it to your taste and I think it's just honestly the biggest tip that I have for you guys in this entire video. I've had my eyes on this printer ever since it came out, I swear. It's called the Canon IV2 mini printer and the thing that I love the most about it is that it's so portable. In the past, I would always have to send my photos to somewhere else and then they'll mail it back to me and it would take like a week. It's really nice because it pairs with their app and then you can just choose any photo from your camera roll. You can edit it straight from the app you could also add super cute like little frames that'd be kind of funny if i did happy father's day for her <laughs> add text stickers i really like the draw feature you can just do like little doodles everywhere an app feature i love is that you can make collages i love these photos of suki next to the christmas tree and i thought it would make such a cute collage because you can see her moving in each photo it's super easy to change the sides and add filters or do whatever you want there's really so much creative freedom and i can't wait to print more i love kind of having like mini pictures. I feel like you could even duplicate the same photo four times and just have four baby pictures. Wouldn't that be so cool? I don't know. I love it. I like the photo how it is, so I'm just going to press print and then it's gonna go. It's going! <laughs> 
Let me tell you, this Canon zinc paper is the bee's knees, okay? It doesn't need any ink at all, and the best part of it, oh my gosh. All of the prints are stickers, and I love stickers, first of all. But also, it's going to save me so much time and, like, hassle. I hate using glue sticks and tape. You can also get pre-cut circle stickers, which are super cute. Okay, I'm so excited to scrapbook. I wanted to document the first year of her life because it's honestly the best year of my life. Memorializing photos like this and pouring your heart and soul into something that you can look back on for years to come is so priceless. And that's why I love scrapbooking so much. Suki's my girl, so of course I dedicated two whole pages for her. I swear I'm not even saying this to be hashtag ad, but I loved using this printer. It was so nice to actually just see a photo on my camera roll and to have it almost instantly print out and not have to wait. The sticky back was so convenient and nice. I did not have to take out one glue stick and I count that as a win. such a fun time making this spread. I think it looks super cute. Suki, do you like it? Thank you again so much, Canon, for sponsoring that portion of the video. I had a really fun day yesterday too, so I wanted to add the footage here. A really easy way I like to spice up my life, kind of romanticize it, is having fun with my hairstyles. So right now, I have two little pigtails in, but I'm actually going to braid it. I don't know, I feel like you can have a really mundane day, like you're just going out to get groceries or just going to class. Doing your hair all cute can make you feel like that girl, you know? Like you're just a cute little girl doing cute little errands. <laughs> Okay, the braids are done. Hopefully the part right there is even. <laughs> really, the back of my head is none of my business. Braids and pigtails are cute and all, but I think the major thing, y'all, and I think you know what I'm about to say, is to add bows. I'm also going to burn the edges a little bit just so it doesn't fray. Also, I'm a little baby and I can't use any of those like tiny lighters, like you know the ones that you use your thumb. I just get so scared of them. I don't know why, so. Only these ones in my household. Bows are honestly such a simple joy to me. I really leaned into that this year. It doesn't necessarily have to be bows, but you know, bows make me happy. So I'm gonna put them in my hair. I'm gonna be honest with you, I feel that sometimes when I'm in a kind of mental rut, I will either subconsciously or consciously kind of isolate myself from my loved ones and my friends and everyone. I don't know, I feel like I just don't want to burden them with my like struggles. I don't, it, I think it's just my brain. I don't know, but that couldn't be farther from the truth. If anything, I need that social interaction to not go crazy in my head. But yeah, I think really putting in that effort to nurture your relationships and spend quality time with friends is so important. So on that note, I'm about to leave to hang out with some friends. I'm really excited. I haven't seen a couple of them in a while. So let's go on our friend date. See you soon. We decided to catch up at this gorgeous cafe. We ate lunch. And of course I had to get matcha with the matcha queen herself, come on. And at this point, Andrew saw a fly, I'm pretty sure, or at least a bug in his food. So he stopped eating. So yeah, that's pretty awesome and cool. <laughs> Afterwards, we went shopping and we were messing around in the store. It was so fun. This is awesome. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> Howdy. 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 Howdy doody. Howdy. Andrew's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't do it. Let's do like a sit on each other and then do a ride. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Whoa. Like I feel like I'm the horse. Hold my hat. <laughs> 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 Not in the Patagonia. <laughs> 
Amber was actually filming a boba video. So we got boba a few times this day. I'm not complaining though. I'm a boba girl, you know, California Asians. That's how it is. <laughs> and don't worry hotties, we beasted everything or at least we tried to. I actually hadn't been to the beach in so long and I feel like I take the fact that I live so close to the beach for granted. It was really lovely just hanging around in nature and just playing around with friends. I really felt like I was in a coming of age movie. It was great. <laughs> a butternut squash. How was dinner? Dinner was delicious. We beasted it. <laughs> and look at the beautiful view out here. We're at Laguna Beach. Dinner was bustling. I love the Cliff restaurant. It is gorgeous. Kind of overcast AF, but I'm still loving it. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? How was dinner? <laughs> very good, very good. It was good, actually. I didn't oh, you wanted to... me to... What? How was your dinner? So good. <laughs> I'm full from the boba. I know, literally. And the avocado toast, so I, I brought some for home. I've never been to this restaurant before. It's a good date spot. <laughs> so dating. <laughs> We're gonna date right now. We're dating pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm her boyfriend. Oh my god. Get out of the way, Martin. Thinking of you. That's what you do. That's what you do. Boba taste test number two. We're forcing Jasmine to drink every type of boba possible today. <laughs> this is like her millionth one. This is good boba. Mm, is it? The boba is my favorite. The boba is really <laughs> it soft. It is very sweet. Is it? It's so mm -hmm. sweet. That one's seventy percent sweetness too. I think. Mm. This kind of tastes like matcha. Like this. I do really? Not like this. Well, I thought you liked taro. Not this one. Really? Yuck. Why? Why? E yuck. She's like. And the night everyone just hung out with Suki and I think she was being a good girl. She was a little shy at first, but I think it was just so cute how we were all huddled in a circle just watching her be a cat. <laughs> Make decluttering a habit and not a chore. We've heard it time and time again. Obviously your space, your physical space around you really affects your mental. Obviously a clean space doesn't magically make you happy and feel, whoa, like this is awesome. But I really think it could help. And a little tip I have for you guys is to put on a song and kind of like time yourself. Play that song and see how much you can get done. And I feel like it makes it a lot more fun. It doesn't have to be completely 100% tidy, but it's definitely better than what you started with i don't know it kind of reminds me you know like when you put food in the microwave and you just try to see like how many things you can do before the timer goes off it's kind of like this but with fun music ready set go out and about walking around and this pretty girl or boy or person walks past you and they smell so delicious they smell so good i don't know for me that's just so attractive and i think wow they probably have their lives together <laughs> the whole point that i'm trying to say is that aromatherapy is so real so whenever i'm feeling kind of like icky and gross and i already took a shower and i still feel like nasty i like to put on a perfume today's perfume is replicas on a date because i'm on a date with you guys right now okay <laughs> but even if i'm just home alone i like spraying myself because i don't know like maybe if you get a little whiff of yourself you're like damn 
I am that girl, you know? I, I just smell good. <laughs> and in reality, the only nose that matters is yours, baby. I know perfumes are expensive and a lot of people don't have a lot of them, so you don't want to waste it. But I'm sure you can always get free samples and I'm pretty sure like Bath and Body Works and stuff always has sales. And also the good smells don't have to stop with you. You could always have like room sprays. I love room sprays, candles, incense, everything like that. I think it really gets you in the mood. It's appealing to your senses and I think it can really help you romanticize your little life. You know what? I'm gonna be the first to say this. I know I look like a fool and I know I look crazy, but also I don't care. Having dance parties is such a good time. It's just so liberating to look goofy. <laughs> I'm really ready to wind down now. I need to get all this off my face. So I'm gonna start off with double cleansing. I have an oil cleanser right here. Then I go in with a little jelly cleanser. It's really nice to take this time to unwind, kind of reflect on the day. Honestly, my skincare routine doesn't take that long because I really value consistency over complexity. I feel like there's a lot of pressure sometimes on like having a 10 step skincare routine and blah, blah, blah. You need all these products. But if it takes you a long time and you don't enjoy doing it, you're not gonna do it consistently. Squeaky clean. Today I'm feeling a little sheet mask. Which one should we do? I'm feeling this lemon one. I think it will brighten up my face a little bit. Let's get it. I'm trying to get my skin to be as soft as a baby's butt. <laughs> Bring it down to the neck. Oh my God, I can't talk. This is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> This massager was the best $30 I've ever spent. When I have my face mask on and I'm sitting on my couch with my massager, I'm in my really, no one talk to me, I don't care kind of mental space and I love it. Sometimes I feel guilty kind of taking that time for myself, but it's really nice to kind of unplug and unwind. Look, it's all dried up. Okay. Mm. And then I just hang out with my cat and I think it's the perfect way to end the day. Okay, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a fun time hanging out with you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Love you!